A lot of you requested it, so this week I learned to spin a basketball on my finger. As always, I started practicing intuitively. I tried this in the past, but I've never been able to do it, and I've always given up. And even this time, I kept failing, and I found it really hard to maintain the spin once the ball was on my finger. After 10 minutes of practice and a bit of theory, I realized that first of all, it is necessary to understand how to position the ball. It's actually better to spin the ball on the bottom of it, where all the grooves meet in a single point. This allows the spin to look better, and it gives your finger a specific point to rest on. I also so realized that I was spinning the ball too slowly. The faster the spin, the more stable is going to be the ball. And with the method I was intuitively using, I was able to make the ball spin just for a few seconds before it lost balance. So I tried a new technique to start the rotation. You need to lift the ball with one hand and position the second hand on the side. Then by simultaneously flicking the hands, touching the ball with the pinky of the non-dominant hand and the thumb of the dominant hand, you can make the ball spin in the air. It's important to flick the hands at the same time and applying equal force on the sides. So you won't throw the ball forward or against you. Then when the ball is in the air, we catch it with the index finger of the dominant hand. And with this technique, I immediately saw a great improvement. <laughs> yes. And even if sometimes I could get some good results, I basically had no control over the ball. Then I realized that the closer you keep your hands to the ball, the easier it's going to be to catch it afterwards and to keep it balanced. Now, we know that spinning objects are more stable. So, as long as the ball keeps spinning on your finger, it's easier to hold the position. But if the ball starts slowing down, it will be also more likely to fall. I was making progress, but I was still missing something. Because to actually keep the ball spinning for as long as you want, you need to slap it. What I mean is that you need to slap the side of the ball while it's rotating to increase the spinning speed. If you press too much against the ball, this one is going to fall. But if you don't press enough, you won't increase the speed of the rotation. And that's easier said than done. It took me a while to become confident with this movement. At first, I kept making the ball fall off my finger as soon as I touched it. So I kept trying over and over again, and finally I started to see good results. But my finger was on fire. <sighs> That was great, by the way. My fingers were hurting because of the continuous rubbing against the ball. Then I discovered from a tutorial that it's better not to use a brand new ball. And your nails don't have to be too short, so the ball can spin on them. But obviously, thanks to my genius mind, I cut down my nails to zero the exact same day I started practicing. So I waited a few days to get my nails back. And when I started trying again, after the first few attempts where I thought I lost all my progress, it actually started to get way better than the days before. The ball was spinning faster, and the grooves were remaining vertical, but I was still moving a lot, turning my body to prevent the ball from falling when it was losing balance. So I started really focusing on slightly moving my index finger to keep the ball in the same position. The more vertical and more stable you can maintain your index finger, the easier it gets to keep the ball balanced on it. But also my slapping technique was still pretty bad. I'm almost there. The goal was to make the ball spin for at least 15 seconds, but the initial rotation wasn't allowing me to keep the ball up that long. So at this point, I just needed to improve my slapping technique. I kept trying and at a certain point, I realized that I was touching the ball without the right timing and I was pushing it too much instead of slightly touching it. So I started to increase the speed of the slaps and by just slightly touching the ball, I was finally getting the first good results. I'm comfortable making the ball spin counterclockwise, and the slappy movement this way, it's a bit unnatural. Like everything else, it just requires a bit of practice. After a while, I learned the right movement, and we basically need to flick the fingers instead of slapping. I was getting closer and closer, and after 4 hours and 8 minutes of practice, I've been finally able to spin the ball for about 20 seconds. <laughs> that was it, that was it. The more you try, the easier it gets to keep the ball up without having to move a lot your finger or your body. And it looks cool. I have two balls here, but I need just one. So I wanna give this away to one of you. To get it, you just need to follow me on Instagram. There I post. I see you there, and I see you next week with a new skill.